Archers, swarm! Carriers down. Thanks for the help. DBs, one of you secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. Acknowledge.
Dave, check that pen. opening a door. He's doing a lot more than that. Well, either way, the door's open. Thanks, Dave. So, that data Dave just downloaded? There's a big hole at the highest security clearance. How does this relate to our mission? It doesn't, but now I need to know. I'm guessing whatever's missing was pulled from the network. Well, who'd have the authority to do that? Back then, uh, only the facility commander. Find his office and poke around. Okay, we'll go. Scanning immediate area. Detecting old, inferior pod technology. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's just me.
there. Done. Now let's find that office. What does the facility commander's office even look like? I don't know. I think a big door, nameplate, maybe commander written on it. That's a fair response. I think this is it. Not the commander's office. Commander's office is through here. This door is locked. Now this will do. Maybe there's a door with this. I gotta get Dave inside. Look around for an air duct or something. It's gotta be big enough for Dave. Find a release for the door. So, Baird once lost data, huh? What does it even look like? Well, I mean, if it got pulled from the network, it probably got stored on some kind of external drive. <laughs> nice one, Dave. All right, commander's office. Let's look around. Safe. Good place for secret data. Dave, get this open. Gotcha. Hey, Control. Good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way.
Hey, halt! Oh shit, they weren't kidding! Man, we leave you guys alone for five minutes! Yeah, it's goddamn hilarious! Just help us clear out! <laughs> Rocket attack? It is, believe it or not. Good. Then find a port for Dave to plug into. If it checks out, he'll initiate the launch. Honestly, we're just lucky the swarm didn't rip this thing apart. Marcus, you know Jin pretty well. Just how angry is she gonna be with us launching this thing? Uh, I'd say somewhere between an ulcer and an aneurysm. I'm okay with that. connected to the controls. It's all yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized, first stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Delta, Error. we have an issue. The silo hatch, it's not opening. Oh, of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird, options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go. Hydraulic external power to on. No. We get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You got to get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Good luck with that. Let's get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. There's gotta be a manual override near the top. We've got our way up. We gotta get across this gap!
for extraction. Time to face the music. 
music. James, how about I see Jin first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call her what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary, and you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um... Yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. yeah um, I'm sorry. The thing is... You two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? what? That's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. It cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah! Uh, What's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm. Uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh -huh. And... And he's... all yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna dig this. It'll give Jack what I've been calling Flash. It blinds, stuns the enemy.
installed and equipped. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Okay. Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. up and grab a weapon. If you don't get into cover, I can't start the test. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna dig this. It'll give Jack what I've been calling Flash. It blinds, stuns the enemy. Installed and equipped. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Okay. 
Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. Don't get into cover, I can't start the test. Is there any particular reason we're not moving? Ready to go when you are.
Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly, David. So, say you got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate. See what happens. All right, finish it. Hostile contacts identified. Test sequence complete. Huh, that could be useful. Now let's try it again with multiple targets. Iris, activate Alpha 332. Incoming, Damon. Jack's got to reroute power between flashes. Once he's recharged, hit him again. You Oh, two for one. Nice. Reload commencing. Reloading weapon. JD, but uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you, for both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Are you trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can borrow. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable things. I wonder where she gets that from.
So Baird, I know you were kind of mad when Jim shoved you in here. How do you like it? Oh, I, I'm enjoying it. The workshop's quiet, peaceful. Damon is not being truthful. Shortly before you arrived, he was highly critical of the First Minister, referring to her several times as... Let's a... not get into specifics, Iris. Also, why did you tell him that? I detected genuine personal concern for you in Corporal Diaz's intonation. I thus judged it appropriate to inform her how you truly feel. Whew, inappropriate sarcasm. Incompetent nurturing instincts. Iris, are you sure you're not secretly my mother? Later, Baird. Come on, guys. No worries. Do your thing. Come on! <gasps> Hey, Foz. How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man. Let's just grab a jack opponent and get out of here. No, this will be fun. How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Here's the thing, Foss. The bottle's far with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming, but explain. Shit, your false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden voice. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man. Now that Fa's fun time's over, can we go find that component? Gotta tell you, that cheap shot? Mm. Chef's kiss, buddy. Chef's kiss. the component we're borrowing. Or stealing. I prefer borrowing. Indefinitely. Test them out in the field. Try to contain your excitement. We still have to go to Jin's office. Yeah, Dad's probably had enough alone time with her by now. Man, Foss left his locker open. <laughs> Where's a stink bomb when you need one? Huh. <laughs> 
Never could get used to the field of viewing those things. Enough's enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will. I promise. After we talk to Jen. Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. It's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that, for both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you, you to- You don't get to talk about her. If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. Oh. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the All Fathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means, explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah. That'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Oh, we're under attack. We need immediate help. Please, slow down. No. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it. Go. I'm the ranking officer here, right? And we'll reinforce Carmine at the town hub. I can't believe we're back here. We did our duty. You need to get over it. Get over it? Guys, not the time. Cole, let's see what we're dealing with.
JD! I can't see! I can't move! Damn juvies! And I hate these things. Jenny! Oh! You got my eyes? All right! I got a goddamn radio on my back! We're not all right! Patches through to Carmine? Uh, no can do, kid. His radio's out. Is he okay? I can see him at the central hub, so he's up and fighting, but the swarm's all over him. Hurry if you can. Run our way. Come on, Delta. Let's get out of here. Farther than they hoped. Then we better move it, though. 